Welcome friends. Let's talk about day number one on this journey of going carnivore. All right, day number one, it was Saturday, January 20th, 2024. I woke up and I don't know why, but I got just motivated as hell and said, okay, this is it, we're doing it. So, what did I do on day one? First thing I did was, I didn't think I had any good meat. The original plan was, start off with just meat, salt, pepper, drink lots of water, and uh, that was the plan. So we drove to Macro in Pattaya. Macro is the Costco, in my opinion, of Thailand. So, Macro being a Costco, they've got a lot of stuff. Now, don't get me wrong. I mean, they have fish that's uh, some of it's alive, some of it's very freshly caught on beds of ice, on flat tables full of ice. Uh, they've got frozen fish. They've got frozen meats. They've got a little bit of everything. They've got, you know, kitchen gear and equipment, and they got booze and garbage cans and you know, they, they sell just a lot of stuff. So we go to Macro, and we go to their meat department. And the big thing with their meat department is they've got tons of packs of steaks that were obviously packed and imported. Most of the stuff is from Australia. But I didn't realize the problem I was getting myself into, so we bought some ribeyes from Australia and a few other cuts, about six cuts total. And while we were there, we got some chicken breasts, and I don't know if we got chicken lizards gizzards or not. And of course, Noe got some of the stuff she wanted, uh, which is making this uh, a test every day because she's, she's eating all the stuff that I'm not eating. And she's real big on vegetables and real big on fruits. But if you don't have any Drive, determination, and stick to it. Just it won't work anyway. So it doesn't matter. You can't shut out the world. Now, here's the problem we got. This beef says most of it would say, you know, imported Harvey's imported from Australia. I didn't take a lot of pictures of this, but. If I do find pictures, I'll put some up when I edit this. But the problem is the steaks are like a half inch thick. And they're aged because if you think about it, they're packed and then they're vacuum sealed. They're put on a boat. And they're probably shipped up here by ship in a, in a freezer container. And then, they're, and then they're technically thawed because what you're seeing there in the, in the meat case is a individual pack. And it's not frozen. It's just cold. So I got six of these things. And we cooked one up, and I went to eat it, and I chewed, and I chewed, 
and I chewed some more. And then I thought, did I buy steak or did I buy shoe leather? So I thought, well, maybe it's me. Maybe I didn't cook it well enough. You know, obviously I must have done something wrong because this is that terrible. So all it gave me was a toothache. My, my back teeth actually hurt from chewing so much. And a headache. So that was my day one. And I made two of those steaks that day. And I probably actually swallowed three bites of them. So what you do when you're hungry and you're disgusted with steaks, you can always fall back to the age old Give me some eggs. Cook me up some eggs and let me eat that. So I ate like three or four eggs till I was full and that was day one. So let's move on down the road. Stick around for day two. Gets a little more interesting, even. That's all, folks.